Hey everybody, Tacoma Comics coming at you. Hello YouTube. This is a subscriber contest for somebody that OMG Chris uh, got me into, Meg Not Mog, and I'm sure in my American accent I'm mispronouncing both the name that she goes by and the name that she doesn't go by. But anyway, uh, just a really cool channel. She does a lot of um, unboxing of Loot Crate stuff and special deals and stuff, a lot of unboxing channel, all sorts of like geekdom, comics, pops, clothing and everything so uh she's a really cool contest you know usually teen and over is supposed to be in by today um hopefully with the time change she'll let me get this in under the gun not the time change but the time difference excuse me guys um so she's got a bunch of questions she wants me to answer uh let's go ahead and do that so my three favorite movies uh monty python the holy grail star wars it's called star wars it's not called episode four it's not called a new hope I'm old, I'm bald, it's called Star Wars. It came out in 1977, I saw it in the movie theater. That's not a brag, it's just an age labeling. Uh, my third favorite movie, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and actually in those orders, I know a lot of people like, oh, Empire's the best. But uh, for me, Star Wars, because of the age I was, seven, when I saw it, the impact it had on me, the impact it had on the movie industry, um, it was just more of an emotional uh, pow when I saw it, that uh, I'll always put that one above Empire, despite what cinephiles, cinephiles and uh, people who watch movies are really into it will say. Um, Empire is a great movie, too, don't get me wrong. It just, for me, Star Wars was like what started it all, kind <laughs> of started the direction of my life. Uh, three favorite TV shows Breaking Bad. Uh, gotta go for Breaking Bad. A uh, number of similar ones up there. I mean, Better Call Saul is, is whew, I, you know, after the run's done, I might put that as one of my favorites, but I'll definitely go with Breaking Bad. Uh, Faulty Towers, and let's tie that with the British version of The Office. I love TV shows that go for two seasons, only uh, six episodes each. That's kind of a nice way to encapsulate it all. And my parents are English. They turned me on Faulty Towers when I was about 11 or 12. Um, I came down stairs from my bedroom one day, and they were, like, cracking up. And I'm like, what the heck are they laughing about keeping me awake? So they let me watch a little bit of the, uh, the German guest episode. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Faulty Towers. You can grab them all on Netflix. You can probably grab them on YouTube, but why not go to Netflix and do it the right way and give some money where it belongs. Uh, and then West Wing. You know, West Wing, I used to be a social studies teacher. I teach robotics now. But, uh, you know, the political intrigue um, in that show, the writing was just phenomenal. Uh, the acting was phenomenal. I'm going to try to sit up like this so you don't get the glare off my glasses. Uh, so West Wing, clearly one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to throw a fourth one in there, uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Um, throw a fifth one in there, Star Wars Rebels. And I'll stop now or I'll go on forever. Uh, my favorite food, Meg, is sushi. Um, why? Because I love sushi. <laughs> sushi, sushi, sushi. Uh, no, I um, I like the variety. I like the, the healthiness of it. Um, I like the food that takes preparation, food that has a history, food that has a culture behind it, food that can be modified um, by any culture so that, you know, it's not just what it originally was, but it can constantly morph while still keeping the idea that in some ways it's usually some sort of raw fish um, on rice, though you cannot get, you know, anything on rice with seaweed and, and it's sushi these days. So I kind of really dig sushi. I'm glad that my family's into it, too. It's probably the one food that we all agree on. Uh, and what would I like to see made into Funko Pop and into a, a TV show? Or that's, I think it was, what do I want to see made into um, another form? So I'm going to say Lock and Key. I know the TV show's coming out. I'd love to get some Lock and Key Pops. That would be really cool. I'd love to get some Rat Queen Pops, too. Uh, I'm really excited to start buying the, the Saga Pops. They should be released in a couple weeks. You can go online and already order them, uh, pre-order, I guess. So if you look online, they don't say it's a pre-order, but if you order it, it'd probably take a while to get there. But I am excited for Funko Pop Saga, and I'd love to see some uh, Rat Queens and Lock and Key uh, Pops. That would be really cool. Um, love to see a Rat Queens cartoon, too. That would be amazing. Uh, and I can't wait for the Lock and Key TV show. Where am I from? Well, this is Tacoma Comics, so I am from Tacoma. I'm from New York originally. Uh, my family's from England, but uh, both my parents moved to New York in the 60s, met each other there. I uh, moved across country about 10 years ago, so Tacoma, Washington. Um, and I am Tacoma Comics on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And my favorite quote, I got a thousand of them, um, mainly from Star Wars and Holy Grail, my <laughs> two favorite movies. Watched those two properties so many times that I've got a lot of it memorized. Uh, but who is more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? 
Uh, I thought that was really witty when I was younger, and uh, it, it stuck with me. So uh, for all my subscribers and people watching this, you know, go uh, sub up Meg, Meg Not Mog. She's really got an awesome channel, real uh, fun to listen to. I'm kind of loud and, and fast speaking. She's a little quieter and, and slower paced, so uh, a little bit of a change there. But uh, she's got a great channel, so sub her up. And uh, hit me up, Tacoma Comics, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. All right, take care.